coming out today to help celebrate the marriage of April and John. April, I gotta tell you, I'm feeling a little sad because I feel like I'm losing a part of me. But John, you're a great guy, I love you to death. And there's nobody else I would want more into our family than you. You probably think I do this with everyone. April and I have been best friends since we were very little. We do everything together. I just wanted to begin by saying that it's a little scary for John to be coming into such a close family that does everything together. But he blended right in and he is the best person I could ever ask for. For my sister to marry, he always puts her first and he is just one of a kind. So I just want to say that I wish you both nothing but the best and I'm just going to be there by your side, both of you, the entire way. John and I have been brothers for a little over 29 years now, and uh, you can really get to know a person that amount of time. After years of fighting over the computer and me beating him in every sport and video game, we would get our own house together. And uh, we would come but more than brothers, but best friends. John grew up to be someone that even though I was older, I looked up to. John's got a great personality and is always the life of the party, even though he can't drink more than three drinks. <laughs> now we threw a lot of parties at 312 and that's when I first met April, who looks absolutely beautiful tonight. My dear friends in Christ, we have joyfully come together today in this church with John and April to give witness to their love for each other. This unity becomes a visible sign of God's love and now is the capstone of John and April's relationship, which from this day on takes on a special and sacred meaning. Now, I don't think I've ever had a bad time with Abe. She's always happy, and so make your day better by just being her. Now, I knew John really liked her a lot, and the fact that she didn't run away after some of those parties and dealing with the characters that were there at 312, then I knew she must really like John, too. You can tell they are best friends and soulmates. John told me he was going to marry her, and here we are. You're always with me. John and April, this sacramental union which begins in your life today, and which you desire so much, will affect you on all levels of your life, physical, emotional, and spiritual. In fact, there really is no wedding gift that you can receive that is greater than your total gift to each other today. April, receive this ring. April, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Take them to the water. Cast John, take this ring. John, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Love you. You're always with me. Love is patient. 
Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. So John and April, as that love which you join your hands today and your hearts, we pray will never fail, but grow deeper and stronger again as the years go on. And if true love and the unselfish spirit of perfect sacrifice guide your every action, you can expect the greatest measure of earthly happiness.